our boy running the 1975 is really getting some attention out there. I know. Kissing on the fans. Yep. Bringing people up. Making out with them on stage. You know, I haven't actually seen the clip, but I've heard he's French kissing people. Yeah, with tongue. You know, you know. Guys, the, gals. He kissed a lady who was already tied up. She had a man. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. What happened? I don't know. He was, he wanted it. Who, the guy? The, yeah. The partner? Yeah. Not Maddie. Maddie. Is that his name? Maddie Healy, right? Yeah. You're talking about the, the partner of the girl who went up on stage? Yeah, he was like. He was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hard as hell in the audience. Yeah. I guess. If you love something, let it go. Yeah. <laughs> let it go kiss, uh, lead singer. <laughs> kiss, on, kiss on the- f- My wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my wife. Ooh, that's my wife. <laughs> it's it's interesting way to, you know, draw attention. It is. He's getting doing. a ton of attention. Apparently, uh, tickets ticket sales have skyrocketed <laughs> since then. That's what I've heard. So if you want to come see me, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's true. You got to sell tickets, right? Yeah, yeah. You're selling boys, tickets to your tour. Boys, if I, you might get kissed on the comedy stage. <laughs> in between some jokes, I might pull you up on stage and just mwah, right in the forehead. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Hey, bro, you want to kiss? I'm going to need a volunteer for this part. <laughs> Why don't you come up here? It's like, okay, what are you going to roast me? Oh, no. Quite the opposite. Yeah. Sexy ass. Mm, come here. Come here. <laughs> oh what are you yeah playing? yeah with his forehead <laughs> tongue and down his forehead <laughs> ryan would like that right ryan nope <laughs> yes he would yes you would you like you like kissing you're a kissing guy yeah <laughs> you don't like wait, wait wait you don't like being kissed you like watching other people kiss i don't want to be kissed by either of you no one said we were going to kiss you you inferred I mean, I guess that would maybe that would help drum up attention for the show. It would kissing the crew. Yeah, like pick someone random <laughs> from the crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's someone random in here. Let's see, someone Ryan. Oh, uh, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Okay, come here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you kiss her? That is also someone random. Yeah, that is. Does she consent to being kissed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> whoa! Whoa! All right. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa, whoa. (laughs) Yo, man, did you hear about the Team G podcast? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. I don't know if we can show that. Yeah, that 1975 stuff is crazy. You heard about what's going on with TMG pod, though? <laughs> Eating out a mannequin. <laughs> he picks a random mannequin from the crowd and eats her out. <laughs> what's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. Mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you ever smoke weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC The so-called flying saucers. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for debate. <laughs> Not only are you were your feet up, but she's also elevated, so yeah. you like curve yeah. arching up. Nah, plus nah, the feet dude, up. I, I gotta see some final approval on that. <laughs> I gotta make sure. <laughs> dude, that's so funny. Oh my god. That's so <laughs> banana funny. mode. <laughs> <laughs> your banana oh i will oh i will yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry i just i we were we were drumming that up i couldn't resist so funny i could not resist that was great well now that we're we're past a minute right mm-hmm. on the on the algo we can be nasty yeah of course oh 
Oh, we, whoa, whoa, we, first, we, let's be nasty about the the merch. The ooh. let's be a little nasty about the Black Friday drop. Yeah, what are we gonna be nasty about? What are we gonna? Well, it today is Cyber Tuesday. Tomorrow, when this comes out, will be Cyber Monday. I mean Wednesday. Yeah, it's a Cyber Week. Yeah, we love cybering here. We love. We are big proponents of cyber. Yes, and uh, cyber your loved ones this week. Yes, show your cyber love this week. By joining in the cyber uh, sales. If you didn't see the Black Friday drop, it's it's this incredible stuff right this, here. This is the psyop that Elon was talking about. Yes, right exactly. Here. This is it. Uh, we got a beautiful crew neck there. We got a wonderful gray tee. I can't help but mention the puff print every time because it's so it's just quality, you know. There's the back right there, and then you can see this on audio. Um, on audio, you can probably hear the quality of the merch. Yeah. I don't know, hey, listen to that. Yeah. Listen to that. Yeah. Let me just let me hook you up with that there, actually. If you got some smell of vision, let's help you out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the car just fills with sex smell. Oh, oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like old spit. <laughs> it smells like licking. <laughs> it smells like mouth. Anyways, uh, so yeah, if you want to cyber your loved ones with these incredible cyber gifts, then uh, teamdstudios.tv is where you'll find that. And also, all old items are 20% off. So mm. if there's something old that you liked for someone, what are you pointing at me when? What? Why did you point at me when it when I said that? It was just something hey. old and nope. It was just a hey. teamgstudios.tv um, for all your merch needs and also limited time discount on annual subscriptions for the studios tier. Oh, I Whoa, did not. That's... No, um, I didn't know we were doing that. Uh... <laughs> didn't talk to us about that. So, <laughs> so I guess I guess Ryan must have got kissed this yeah. weekend. Also, free kisses for Ryan whenever he wants. <laughs> what? That's good. until the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Limited time discount on annual subscriptions for the studios tier. That's sick. Twenty percent off compared to the monthly price. Wow. So that's a steaming hot deal, I would say. Yeah. What do you get for that? Um, I mean, you get bonus content for this show. Okay. You get bonus content for the Trillionaire show. You get all shows ad free. Every single show. Every single in the show. TMG Studios network. That's like yes. six or seven now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. That's incredible. Bonus oh. episode for Brooke and Connor. You also get to see the um, what really goes on in the ads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> I don't want anyone to even get a whiff of what we're doing <laughs> back there. <laughs> that stays on the platform. <laughs> Uh, what were you going to say? So this is through the end of the week, guys. Don't sleep. Yes, don't sleep. Jump on it right now. In time for Christmas. Uh, I was going to say, let's get... We can get nasty burping after eating out. I yeah. think that's apt to bring back. Yeah. I was just sad that wasn't in the beginning of last week's episode. Which? I was just really looking forward to hearing us come... <laughs> Remember? What? We are saying, if you, after you... Just imagine... Servicing from eating out your <laughs> oh, yeah. You just take a big ass <laughs> belch. Big, big old belch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, you should have belched. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> That's some good pussy. Right <laughs> That's some good pussy. <laughs> 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 Go down there with a lobster bib on. Uh, licking your fingers after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! You know when you inhale, or you like inhale air to burp. And not all of it comes yeah. out. Yeah. There we go. People like this episode a little bit. <laughs> I can't wait there's, till there's smell o vision podcasting, bro. <laughs> we just put smells into here, and then they get printed to the audio, and yeah. people can run them AI, back. That's what we have to invent. Yeah. For sure. Shut the fuck up about AI, you crypto bro. Sorry. No, those are all the comments about. Wait, were they? Yeah, people were saying like AI's not that cool. How do you Okay, I'm not even gonna get into it. <laughs> not even gonna get into it. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this again because I feel like the trillionaire guys didn't bite on the A Paul episode. 
that FTX sex tape would be disgusting. Yes, I agree. I totally agree. I don't know why they weren't. They weren't like giving it. Yeah. I mean, it's all like a bunch of like amphetamined up engineers that haven't seen the sun yeah. in like weeks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, all like these, all bumping fuzzies? All these girls that are getting on TikTok right now and snitching on themselves about partners they had that didn't like wash their ass. Yeah. That's who'd be in there. Yeah. Wait, I haven't, I haven't seen those. You haven't seen those? No. Bro, what it's these saying? young women. You know, this is the this is the poison of the internet. God bless them. You know, they see these people sharing personal stories and they go, I want to share a personal story. Right. I used to date a guy who never washed his ass. And then they'll describe... What does that even mean, never wash your ass? Like Liter- in the shower? Literally. Like you would never get it in the crack. And so what? It's just like built up to just... Yep. Yep. Gunk? Algae. <laughs> Just just clay? Yeah. <laughs> Lake clay? Yeah. Ugh. What gets in between tiles? Oh, yeah, like caulk. <laughs> like bathroom caulk? Yeah, yeah. Grout. Yeah, all the built-up yeah, caulk yeah, in your caulk, ass. Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had a whole bunch of built-up caulk in their ass. <laughs> You're straight out with it. That White Lotus episode is on your mind, dude. It's on your mind. <laughs> Spoiler alert, there's a cock in the ass. Oh, yeah. Big time. That gay cat, man. <clears throat> that gay old cat. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a yoga position. Yeah. The gay cat. The gay cat. Yeah. Do you have to look back at it, yeah. too? Yeah. <laughs> the way he did that was so gentle. <laughs> Loafed up, man. Paws tucked underneath yeah, his body. <laughs> I don't. I don't think the FTX orgy would go like that. What? What? What would it go like? I mean, you never know. You know, sometimes nerds they like because they're all messed. They can up lay it down. <laughs> they're messed up and like smart. Sam had a gigantic dick. Not even that. He he he, he might have just been average, but he might have just been like he might have had rhythm. Yeah. Because you know, doubt it. It's probably hard doubt to be it. rhythmic on amphetamine. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Probably doing crazy shit. Yeah. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Skylight Frames. The holidays are just around the corner. Looking for a good gift idea that your family will genuinely love? <laughs> Sorry. I was just uploading a picture to Skylight Frame. <clears throat> it can be so difficult to find something for your loved ones during the holidays, especially those who seem like they have everything they need already. Uh, if you're looking to get something meaningful for your loved ones, Skylight is the perfect gift. Now, this isn't Skylight like the sky. Cody, why don't you tell them what it is? I set up a Skylight frame in my office, and I love it. I have one in my kitchen as well, and I love it. It was so easy to set up, and now I can see so many pictures that have been hidden away in my phone. Plus, I got one for my parents. It's so simple that they could set it up on their own, and they really enjoyed being able to see all the recent photos of Kelsey and I. For a really special gift for the special people in your life, you've got to check out the Skylight Frame. Skylight Frame is a photo frame you can update instantly by email from anywhere. It sets up effortlessly in under 60 seconds. Just plug it in, touch the screen with your little fingers, and connect it to your wireless network and enjoy. Sending photos to Skylight is effortless. Multiple people can use the app or email them to the Skylight. Uh, that's referring to the skylight frame Mm -hmm. and the photos will pop up in seconds it's a great way to keep large networks of friends and families in touch it has a black frame and white mat so it looks like a real photo frame that adds a beautiful touch to your home choose from two size options either the original 10 inch which is fine or new large 15 inch frame if you like something a little bigger. Skylight Frame's vibrant touchscreen display lets you swipe through photos and even tap a heart to let the person who sent the photo know that you loved it. You can preload it with photos of special memories for the perfect personalized gift. Import pictures of you and your significant other, slash spouse, slash grandparent, etc. Plus, you have 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love your Skylight, they'll offer you a full refund. A big old refund. Big old refund. Full. Yeah. Now, as a special offer, you can get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame when you go to skylightframe.com and enter the code TINY. That's right, $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame. Just go to skylightframe.com and enter the code TINY. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E.com, promo code TINY. 
like <laughs> like can't focus on the sex. Yeah. Like da 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 and then he'd stop and uh, yeah. Start doing things. Thinking about options like short my tether. Yeah. Yeah, short my tether. I was th- I was what? picturing more scary stuff, like just drawing symbols on the wall. <laughs> They're coming. Uh. <laughs> Naked with a boner talking yeah. about KPIs all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graphs and shit that doesn't make sense. Yeah. And then that girl's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was harsh for me to say their orgy would be disgusting, but. It would be. I think it'd be highly relatable, though. I mean, any orgy is disgusting. That's true. If you think about it. If you really think about what go like an orgy. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I know. I'm not, I'm not saying att- attractive people would make it, um, because I'm saying they're not attractive. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to some people, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, each other. Each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you see what what SBF used to look look like when he started the company? No. You haven't? No. I think the picture was up yesterday, but Hands like, guy? C- but search Google Deets. like SBF before and after. You know this this look right here. It's it's still it it works, in in some places. They like that. Yeah yeah yeah. Where? Yeah. Um, like an explosives lab. <laughs> <laughs> like that that was him. Go up there on the left. See, he's a leaned out little nerd. Like no, he's got the like front. no no, but like healthier, vibrant. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. He's got like a certain glow to him. This is yeah, like, dude. oh, he's been seeing fluorescent light in an office for yeah. like three straight years. Yeah, he also stressing about the fact that he's running a Ponzi scheme. You know that takes a toll on someone. Yeah, hundred percent. His eyes look like he's seen some shit. He came back from hell. Yeah, for this picture. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's just a young boy in that first one. Like, oh, go back to the other one. I can't wait to start yeah, my no. crypto. I want to start a crypto company. <laughs> I want to start a crypto company. I want to do something with the blockchain. Bitcoin now, to the moon. Yeah, now, now go back. Go back to his current picture. <laughs> Wait, he became a Mongolian throat singer? <laughs> no, that's just all he hears in his head. <laughs> Give us the coin. <laughs> Give us your money. Gosh, it. Gosh, it. Yeah, he hears Bomb the fucking no, the, gosh, it. the ohm of the fucking Bog Brothers from heaven. Bog- Bogdanov. Oh, Crazy that bite. he hasn't been arrested. Nothing's happened. He lost ten billion dollars, and he's chilling in the Bahamas still. Nothing's happened. I don't even think like any. Like I don't even think maybe. I don't. I don't even think the SEC has like launched an investigation. He declared bankruptcy. They. Installed the same guy that was the CEO of Enron after they declared bankruptcy. He's trying to like actually. Did you see yesterday there was like this? Uh, um, they had they had listed their like payables, like their their you know checks that they owed basically. Yeah. And one of them, like the top most one, was an AWS bill that was like three point five million dollars. <laughs> and then the third one was a bill for Margaritaville Bahamas for like fifty k. <laughs> wow. Just running a tab. Running up a tab. Perpetual tab. Right before their orgy, you know where they yeah. were going. Let's fuck. Yeah, let's. G- <laughs> that's why you know that shit's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, man. That's that's that Mountain Dew urine. <laughs> yeah. They could have had a piss orgy. It would have smelled fine. <laughs> it would smell good, honestly. Would have been cleaning the place. <laughs> they just piss all over each other on the floor and just start wiping and just eliminate all the dirt. <laughs> That's how they showered, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drank a ton of Margaritaville. Margaritas and Mountain Dew, and they just peed on each other and came out with glowing skin. Yeah, you think they're all, like, piss pigs? Nah. That's why I say. I think that orgy would be really relatable. I don't, you know, I don't think they'd be doing, like, movie or porn stroke. Right. I think it would have just looked super regular. Yeah. Like, five people, just regular, just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just busting in 45 seconds. Yeah. And then, oh, well, guess it's your turn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, got to get back to it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Jira, these Jira tasks aren't going to write themselves. <laughs> Bro, you think... <laughs> like, just like wires back in, he's like, in the background. <laughs> I, I think it's so 
generous of you to think that these guys are fucking with their pants around their ankles. You think they're all into Well, I guess naked. that's how they pee at the urinal. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. <laughs> so bring this up. I want to just punch in on this. Oh yeah, Bloomberg, Margaritaville. That's what it was. How much? I can't see. Fifty-five k <clears throat> to Margaritaville. Blowing a bag. That's so awesome. Yeah, that's fucking sick. To steal ten billion from people and then go. Margaritaville. <laughs> but then not even pay your tab? Yeah. Why would you even have a tab running there? Why wouldn't you just like pay it every time you go? That's so true. Maybe. Like maybe, they go there that much or? Maybe. Maybe they just, you know. <clears throat> hey, can we put this on a corporate account? Oh, I, I bet you that's what it is. Like, I wonder. I wonder if these chains offer like a corporate invoicing situation where it's like, oh yeah, you know, we'll probably do a bunch of corporate parties here. and Yeah, like they host them for mm-hmm. like in the back room or whatever. Yeah, yeah, for some yeah. Orgy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for their orgy. <laughs> I picture them getting, I think that'd be the other funny part. I think they actually get fully naked to the socks. Yeah. Everything naked. Uh-huh. And then they. For the orgy or at Margaritaville? For the orgy. Yeah. It could be both. You know? Yeah. I think they have giant, I think they get like vats of margarita mm. and put them in like baby pools. Mm. And like they get really, yeah, they get really sticky, you know? Nice. Sounds like a Nelk party. <laughs> Jesus. FTX, FTX squad firing with Nelk? Yeah. That's the term, right? Yeah. Firing? Yeah. Is it? When they're like getting drunk. Firing? I, I swear I've heard them say that. Really? Yeah. Like sending. It's. I think it's like uh, similar. Okay. Yeah. Or yeah, maybe, like this. This is what they were doing. SBF and Kyle. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn. SBF and Bradley Martin in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm here with a fucking billionaire. <laughs> SBF. Go back to that picture. Oh my god. <laughs> Take your money. <laughs> it's time for you to crush this market. <laughs> Absorb all the funds from the, from the human race. <laughs> Collect all the money from the human race. Oh, yeah. Yo, SBF, are you good? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> they were t- they were talking to me again. <laughs> what? No, we're you gotta talking. Stop to taking those fucking amphetamines, man. Bro, you gotta. St- I'm not. I'm stone sober, <laughs> for sure, man. Let's change that. Margaritaville or what? <laughs> Get them to sign the NDA. <laughs> then take all their money in their account. <laughs> then crush this market. We will return the housing market to what it once was, red. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. What the fuck was that image? Who was that in that pool? Is that Jared Leto? Yeah, it's Will Forte from Last Man on Earth. Uh, Ah. Look like, go back to the other one. You had one where it looked like Jared Leto drowning in Joker pee. (laughs) (laughs) That's Jim Carrey, isn't it? That's oh, the same, same. Yeah. Will Forte. But that for- looks like an ideal Saturday right there, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Just get that shit up all day. Just get drunk as hell. I like how your voice changed. All day. <laughs> your vo- your college came, just the demon in you came out. Yeah, dude. It's all day. <laughs> firing. Firing. Fucking firing. All day. What is this? What is this shit? Air frying crabs in parentheses live. <laughs> These are your porn hub searches. Air frying crab alive. <laughs> Yo, with the music too. Oh, wow. don't air no. <laughs> oh, I've seen this one. Do they really do it? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Look at that guy waving before they send him off. 
so crazy they hit his nose with it, like just a fucking pound of coke before they send him off, dude. <laughs> Those spices, dude. Yeah, like, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, getting <laughs> fucked up on that Cajun spice. Oh damn! Fuck! Let's start a company. Return to the afterlife. <laughs> hey guys, I want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Me Undies. Looking for a great gift to give your loved ones for the holidays? Look no further. Yeah, Me Undies is your go-to spot for snuggly, soft undies and more that all your loved ones will adore. Mm. Get merry and matching sets perfect for binge watching or holiday your way however you like with new limited edition prints. The holiday spirit just got real. Mm -hmm. Try Me Undies and get 20% off your first purchase plus free standard shipping and free returns when you go to MeUndies.com slash TMG. I love me undies. I really do. I wear them every single day. Got them on right now. What pattern are we rocking today? I don't know, a little like potatoes or something. They are so comfortable and soft. I wear them all the time and for every occasion. They have amazing patterns and make a great gift for the holidays. Spend less time gifting and more time living with the new Me Undies holiday collection from undies and bralettes. Ooh. To PJ sets, Ooh. Me Undies has something for every name on your list. Shop classic plaids for dads, holiday sweater prints for friends, and the softest loungewear ever for all the cuddly ones in your life. Available in sizes XS, that's good for you, mm. through 4XL, that's also good for you. Me Undies has everything you need to make your favorite people smile this holiday season. All in one convenient place. And maybe a little something for yourself, too. This year, holiday your way with Me Undies to get 20% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guarantee. <laughs> just go to MeUndies.com slash TMG. That's MeUndies.com slash TMG. They really just put them in that thing and then just fried them up? Dude, that's live? Why wouldn't you kill I'm, them first? Imagine, imagine you... Why would you... Why would you waste the joy of killing them with your bare hands? You're right. At least rip them in half before putting them in there. <laughs> Ripping crabs in half and air frying them. Dead. <laughs> oh, you're going to leave their arms intact before you fry them alive? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, dude, being stuck in a little vat and someone just nails you with a fucking sandbag of cocaine yeah. over your head <laughs> like like when like when hair like when harry gets hit by that bag of fucking dr dry concrete in home alone 2 <laughs> you know what i'm talking about just <gasps> oh. <laughs> <coughs> you just get <coughs> burned alive <laughs> yeah 400 degree heat <laughs> high as hell yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> oh yo <laughs> we should travel man uh, yeah we should definitely it's we, fucking hot in here holy shit it's so red <laughs> everything is red <laughs> dude can you look up home alone harry hit by sandbag why does it have so many likes 400,000 that's what I'm saying why are people enjoying that Besides us. Yeah. It's a meme for us, but like, why are people actually watching that? Because it's good. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> fucking horrible. It's, it's horrendous, but it's because sea animals, they're like spiders. You know, they're sea spiders. S what, what does that mean? The, the eyes have no emotion. Right. I mean, I guess Do some spiders. Do they feel pain, though? Uh, I've, yeah, probably. So then it's fucked up, right? It's, yeah, it's fucked. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can't really talk. Like, yeah, I did rip a lobster in half. <clears throat> I can't really talk. I also eat beef and shit. You know, yeah, I don't think there's yeah, there's no we, we ethical had a, treatment of cows. We had a friendsgiving, <clears throat> and we had. By the way, I've never had this before. There's a company, I guess, out of Texas that they make these smoked turkeys, and they're frozen. They send them to you. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to cook it. Nice. You just let it thaw and. Really? It's. I mean, granted, it's cold. Yeah. You could probably heat it up when it's. Yeah. Done. But that thing, 
And was it actually good? Oh, it was delicious. Not dry? No, it had a different... It was more like eating ham. Okay. Hmm. It kind of had that texture Smoky and vibe to it. Oh, dude, too? it was... Just, mm, mm, I want to try that. I want to try like actually smoking one. I've heard it's really hard. Smoking a turkey? Yeah. Well, well yeah, that's why I'm saying we can't... I have no issue laughing at this because that turkey came in <laughs> gagged and bound into my home. Really? Yeah. Damn. It, no head. Yeah. It was decapitated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, even... I mean, that thing was dead, dead. Yeah. And the image I have... <laughs> One of, our, one of our friends, he had the, he was holding the plate that the remaining pieces were on, like the serving tray. What do you mean? Just picking little pieces. Like we ate the turkey to the till it was gone. <laughs> okay, yeah. and he's holding the serving tray, picking up just little remnants. <laughs> <clears throat> we ate that fucker clean. <laughs> were there bones or anything? No, that's why it was so good. Oh, I see. And and that's so I'm picturing that image being like I can never even claim that I care about how animals feel. Yeah, because I was like, let me get some of that. Yeah, but at least you didn't like catch a turkey and just put it in the <clears throat> oven. Still alive. That's different. That's still definitely. gobbling. You know. I would have. I would have. I, I at least. Oh. I at least would. Could you get the fuck in there? <laughs> then halfway through, I would have opened it up, put some smelling salts on my finger, and been like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so as he's passing that's <laughs> ah! <laughs> damn that was next level <laughs> that is a new level I'm on a new level oh my god <laughs> I'm sorry I was that's like... so fucked up <laughs> I know just finally you know Finally, the brain has had enough, and it's like, okay, we're going to sleep. We've, we're done with this pain. Nope. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Holy shit. I'm sorry. That's so fucked. That's so fucked up. That's so fucked. I don't know if we can put that out. <laughs> people are people are already give me personal messages all the time, dude. Hey man, you've been kind of got a violent lately. Are you good? <laughs> Are you all right, dude? Bag of cement hit Marv, man. Can we just? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh. Re- why is it? Oh, <laughs> that's the cayenne pepper. Yeah, dude. seriously. <laughs> Damn, he got rocked. You've seen this movie, right? I don't think I have. Oh, dude. Oh uh, no. What is? Not wrong with you. Any sort of <laughs> <laughs> why? No, no. Th- I think this is why I'm so violent mentally. Because of this movie? Yeah, bro. I think I saw the first one. Home Alone one is crazy, but this one is fucking. He almost like. Okay. <laughs> now that lo- looks like a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a Saturday. For sure. The line after he gets hit by this is so wild. He sits over this and he goes. I'm gonna murder that kid. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I remember laughing my ass off Holy as a kid. <laughs> I'm gonna murder that kid. <laughs> it's a dark ass movie, bro. <clears throat> There's one point where Kevin McAllister tries to get into this taxi cab and he's like, Oh, it's scary out there. This dude turns around with like a shot out eyeball and he's like, It ain't much better in here, kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah! Like it's <laughs> the whole movie is so grim. <laughs> but okay, if these guys had like, if they could die and then reanimate, he killed them both fifty times. Okay, like, like what else does he do to them? What's the most violent thing? Dude, that he, was pretty bad. He lights them on fire <laughs> twice. Uh, he, oh, dude, yeah, Marv getting electrocuted. He, he that shit is straight up the electric chair. Jesus Christ. He. He covers him in paint, and then you know he gets like he can't see. Right. So that scene is hilarious too. That shit looks like like a, a yak birth. <laughs> he clear he clears the shelf. By the way, he gets hit with a shelf after okay. all the paint falls on him. He moves it over. And he's like, Wah! he goes over to a sink. He's trying to turn it on so he can wash the paint out of his eyes. And the fucking sink is hooked up. Look at this. He's he's. Yeah, he's nine. 
He's just around oh my the corner. God. Fires it up. <laughs> it's just the electric chair, bro. <laughs> Yo, that is voltage right Dude. there. He's turning he's it turn- up. <laughs> <laughs> what a little demon. Holy <laughs> fuck. I, uh, what? Yeah, he kills him. He killed him? No. Uh, That's what I'm saying. He kills him 50 times. Dude, this guy, amazing actor. <laughs> Unreal, bro. He got fucked. <laughs> what's that bottom then, left then, one? No, no, then, what's that bottom left wait, wait, one? Wait, wait, what's, what's, what's the kid's name? <laughs> Kevin. And then Kevin sneaks back around the corner with smelling salts, yeah, wakes yeah, it back yeah, up, yeah, yeah, turns yeah. it back on. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Can we get volume on this? I think I'm going to cry laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man <laughs> i want to see all of those <laughs> dude you have you have to watch that movie this christmas it's my favorite christmas movie i will it's an it, it's will. two hours long and it's an hour and 45 minutes of a kid killing two adults <laughs> repeatedly <That's man>. awesome <laughs> he staples them in the nuts Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. Damn. Dude, give me smelling salts to the fucking turkey. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's some Kevin McAllister shit. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'm going to watch that. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, that smelling salt shit. I almost feel bad. That was funny. I almost feel bad for saying it. No, no, it's very funny. The turkey neck just like... <laughs> like he's just finally, finally giving it. Finally. Sweet, sweet An release. End to the suffering. <laughs> We're going up to heaven. <laughs> Turkey the heaven. Bright ass light and that cold breeze. Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, SeatGeek. If you're anything like me, you love going to live events. Yeah. Yeah. You can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code TMG. <laughs> If you didn't know already, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone. Cody does as well. Oh, yes. And it's by far the best way to buy tickets. Show them what is going on. Yeah, I mean, Ryan will be glad to know that the 1975 is planned. Ooh, Ryan, you can buy a ticket and get a little smooch. (laughs) Mm. Uh, I use SeatGeek to find tickets to the upcoming Taylor Swift concert. I am so excited to sing along to all of her songs from an amazing seat. Wow. Sorry, I was just so engrossed in the incredible UI. I got lost in it. I forgot to show it. It's like immediately as you open it, you see... It's such a beautiful app. Yeah, all the events going on. You know there's 70,000 events every day going You're on You're joking. Swear dude. to gosh. Swear to gosh. SeatGeek wants to make sure you are getting a good deal, so when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. It does mean bad. With so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. I'm talking The weekend, Doja Cat, Justin Bieber, and so much more. And don't worry. We've got the hookup. Oh, we do. Use code TMG for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code TMG. Wow. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Uh, what do you think of Twitter right now? Are you entertained? Are you not entertained? It it has the same feeling Vine had before it went. Does it? Kind of. Yeah. I do kind of feel like it's like a free-for-all right now. Is this a... This is burning down. You saw they laid off all their fucking ad sales team. Do you yeah, believe but that? I don't think that shit really matters. I, yeah. I'm saying like I, people are like the media is so fucking concerned with what is happening at Twitter. They're not. They're firing everyone. They're not concerned. It's gonna. Yeah, they are. It's all they write about. Well, they, it's all they write about. It's but, like how much Elon is destroying Twitter. But they're not concerned. What do you mean? They they just want the, you know, they like it. That's I'm, what I'm saying. It's like, why is everyone so obsessed with... It's just a fucking... It's Twitter. Who gives a shit? No, but I'm saying the media isn't... They don't care what happens to Twitter. 
Like they're not concerned. Oh no, he's ruining it. They like this. They like being able to report. Elon's a bad guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like anyone that anyone that like does a takeover of any sort of company fires seventy five percent of people. It's not like yeah. a new story. Yeah. I mean, firing the ad team, it makes sense to me. Yeah, it's like they, it's like they weren't really making money before. Yeah, and I just I don't want ads on the platform, so yeah, I'm fine with sick, it. Yeah, actually. Yeah, get them out of there. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Random ass fucking crypto company tweets yeah. embed. That's that's you don't you don't need you don't need that anymore. Yeah. Just get it out of there. Yeah. I will I will pay a hundred dollars a week for the blue check. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> that's no all ads. I need. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pay seven thousand dollars a day for the blue check for no ads. Yeah. I like how I do think it's funny when people get legitimate burns on Elon and they blue check notify him and and I just know that he wants to respond to every single one. <laughs> he he does use the platform way too much. Yeah. I will say that there's like no possible way from someone who like used to actually take tweet writing seriously. I feel like me and you both did. Yeah. As in like we would constantly think about like oh that would be a good tweet. Yeah. Whatever. Curated. I feel I know how much thought it takes. How much time it takes to actually write. I mean I'm not saying my tweets are good by any means, but I'm saying to generate a following on Twitter. Let's just say that. Yeah. Cuz we both did that. Yeah. It takes a lot of mind share. It takes like a lot of time. Mhm. The amount he's on Twitter, there's no fucking way that he's like running two other companies at the same time. No. But then, but the, also, it's like, who gives a fuck? What do you mean? Like, it's like it's interesting for us to sit there and be like, yeah, there's no way that's happening. I wonder how it's happening. But then every single article is like, oh, he's, Tesla people are pissed off. Yeah. It's like, who cares? Dude, him responding to- shareholders, but- He's responding to all these random ass people. Man. Yeah. This, this is all today. This is all within an hour. Yeah. Up oh, two hours. There we go. It's gonna be so funny. Like he's on it nonstop, right? It's gonna be so funny when his whole, all his companies burn up, and uh, it's just because he can't get offline. Like he's just so addicted. Yeah. <laughs> or, or it could work. What could work? Like this could, like, like Twitter could, like, thrive because of all this stuff. You know, it's true. That is a very real possibility. Yeah. Which would also be equally as interesting, I think. I think if it died, it would be interesting, and also if it like won, it would be interesting. Mm. I saw an article about how his boring company projects have all just ghosted everywhere. Really? Yeah. The the, the tunnel bullshit. Oh, man. I think that's sick, though. Not that I'm saying those ones, like those companies are cool, I think. Yeah. Like the thought of LA, like having tunnels in LA is fucking awesome. Well, right? Like that's very exciting. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> there's this thing called the subway. I don't think we have that here, do we? We do. A subway? Yeah. That goes where? We have a Hollywood? metro. Yeah, An not... underground subway. Yeah. What? Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> have you taken it? No, no. This, this where does not... it go? Uh, Hollywood. Hmm. It's just not very developed. <clears throat> Interesting. They're building a line that goes through like South LA that will eventually connect to LAX. And I think the goal is to get it to spit out near the SoFi Stadium. And then they're building one all through Culver City. Damn, that's sick. That one's above ground though. Yeah. But the one through Culver goes to the beach. Nice. Um. Yeah. yeah, I've taken that one actually. I've taken the Santa Monica one. Yeah. That goes out to uh whatever stadium. You took it to the Rose Bowl, I think. Yeah. yeah. Or Rose Bowl, that's Pasadena. Oh, not Pasadena. Sorry. Yeah, the USC stadium. Yeah. Yeah. Bank of California Stadium. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Boring Company has ghosted a bunch of spots and then um I was like chuckling at how Uh, so the Tesla semi, you know, he's made all those promises about mm -hmm. that. And then the 
car company Renault is already supplying it, and there's all these other manufacturers that have kind of beat him to it, it looks like. Hmm. But what I was laughing at was not that. I was laughing at, I never knew this. There's that company Nikola yeah. that made cars. I never knew about that downhill. It's a scam. Uh, yeah, but I never re- knew that about that specific commercial where they ran the truck down yeah, a hill. And it was fake. Yeah. Yeah. So funny. Genius. Fascinating. Fascinating. And the whole, the whole, the person who exposed it was basically this guy that runs this hedge fund. That a fucking just... loser. <laughs> who, the guy that exposed it? Yeah, what a nerd. <laughs> I think it's cool. It's like he, he's like a short seller. So yeah. he basically is like just like, <laughs> just like a, <clears throat> a chronic hater yeah he shorts companies and then he like does major research or you know vice versa does research first figures out what's com- which companies are like basically giant scams <laughs> short sells them and then exposes them and that was one of the ones he and by one short sale you mean what video was fake. he buys like options against yeah yeah he just shorts the stock yeah so this is a company nikola like like they went public before they just went public based on like this one video right like yeah Back when there was like five other electric car companies that all went public without actual products because yeah. of how popular Tesla was, mm-hmm. these were this was one of them. They named themselves Nikola, which is like, come on. And then they promised this like, yeah, this like electric semi truck, mm-hmm. and it was driving in the video, but really they just filmed it going down a hill and they tilted the <laughs> they tilted the video, so it looked like it was going straight. And yeah, they like they went public, raised a shit ton of money. Um, and I think the guy who was running it, it's like not, it's weird though. It's like not a crime. Like I don't think the guy, I don't think you can get like charged for doing that. This who built this fake truck? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Genius. What's what's the uh, market cap now of Nikola? <clears throat> Probably like seventeen cents. Seventeen cents. One point two billion. No way. No way. These. This is everyone holding Dogecoin right here, holding the. Yeah. Bag. What was their what? Oh my god. Sixty five. What, what was the oh stock price? God, bro. Sixty five dollars. Right. This? After they IPO'd, yeah. So like their market cap must have been what, like sixty billion or whatever, hundred and twenty billion. Oh my god, Buddy made a killing on that. They they had they had some revenue. The second quarter of this year, eighteen mil. Revenue on what? I don't know. So maybe it's not a complete scam, but that's so wild, bro. Yeah, they still. Our thing. Yeah. The Rev. Let's see about this Rev truck, dude. Oh, yeah, bro. Let's buy one. Let's be the only ones to own one. Dude, come on. They got turnkey solutions for this. We should do. We should build like a mobile. That should be the next thing we buy. Mobile studio? Mm-hmm. No, I just like, yeah, like a, like we... That should be it, right? And then we're cruising just on the road. Yeah, wherever we want to go. Yeah, just highway cruising. Oh, dude, we should uh, we should just buy a private jet, but it's for, for podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's a podcast studio in there. Yeah, yeah, it's just one big work expense. <laughs> <laughs> we should get a electric semi truck combined with a fucking private jet. Yeah. And a helicopter. Yeah. Does it all. What else is on the document <clears throat> today? How was your Thanksgiving? How about that? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Uh, it was it was uh, fantastic, actually. What'd you do? Because my parents came in for my birthday. What'd you do for your birthday? <clears throat> Just went and worked out in the morning. Had a great breakfast. Uh, picked up my parents from the airport. We went to... Uh, what would you have for breakfast? Great White. Of course you did. That place is the best, man. Just just immaculate vibes, you, you know? little freak. <laughs> you, you like it, don't you? Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it is. 
And then one of the best dinners I've had in LA, probably the best meal I've had in LA. Yeah. Fia steak. You been there? No. How do you spell Incredible. that? Incredible. F-I-A. Feel these nuts in your mouth. Uh, no, it actually was it's called Fia steak. So good. Just like a, so there's Fia, which is like modern American food. And then there's Fia steak, which is a like a steakhouse. Right. And it just was like above and beyond any sort of experience I've had. Like the service, the, the food was like unique. They do this like the bread at the start. It's like a tray of fresh bread. And then they have meat drippings <laughs> as one of the things you put on the bread. I've never had that before. Just a jar of like beef drippings. Yeah. What even is that? Cum? Sweat? Beef What's blood. dripping off this beef? Yeah. You know? No, when they got them sweating in there and then they hit them with the- Smelling salts? Smelling salt. <laughs> yeah. <it> need... <laughs> they got to keep them awake so they yeah, keep yeah. sweating. It tasted scared. <laughs> yeah. Tasted scared. <laughs> you got to get those beef drippings. Yeah. Damn. Okay, so you went in on a Fia steak. Just incredible. You get any Man. prezzies? Uh, did I get any presents? Yes, I did. What did you get? Some running clothes. A Nikola truck. A Nikola truck. Yeah. Nikola stock, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Congratulations. You lost money for your birthday. <laughs> Dude, that's like, I got my whole family, like, Ethereum, like, three years ago. And I was like, just trust me, this is going to end. Like, of course, it's like worth nothing now. <laughs> My mom was like, I think mine's worth like 20 bucks now or something like that. And then she sold it when she was here. <laughs> wow. I was like, sick, mom. Thanks. Just cashing out on that gift card. Yeah, thanks for having faith. That's what Ethereum's going to be, man. It's going to be next to the Chili's gift card in a fucking grocery store. Yeah. Get your Ethereum gift card today. Exactly. Buy Napster songs and get Napster points. Yeah. So, okay, so you got some running clothes. And then... So then, yeah, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, I cooked uh, a sweet potato casserole. Uh, like, one of the real, like, dessert-like ones. So just what was like, in it? Candy? Just, like, sugar, and, uh, like, I made, like, the the crust on top was, like, flour, brown sugar, yeah. butter. Um, mm. Like, the one you get from Ruth, Chris. You ever had that one? Nah. God damn. It's just, like, yeah, it's, like, a sweet little treat. But you eat it as part of the main. It's a little cheat. A little dessert chicken. I like the snurk. Snurk? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I lurk to snurk a little. <laughs> I like to snurk. snurk. <laughs> what is snurk? Um, it's when you snurk a little. <laughs> Swirt perturter. Into your dinner. <laughs> That's when you eat a little sweet treat. In the main. Mm-hmm. You're snurking. Yeah, I'm the little snurking snurk. little sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little dessert chicken. Yeah, exactly. Or vice versa. Yep. Yeah. If you eat chicken for dessert, it's snurking. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross, dude. <laughs> you have a big ass steak. It's like, can we interest you in dessert? I'm going to take the half chicken. Yeah. Can I get the meat drippings for dessert, please? <laughs> and uh, a drum. Ooh, you're snurking tonight, huh? Ah. <laughs> That's just bodybuilders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I would like to have a whole chicken after the steak. Speaking of which, did you see the Liver King? Exploded. <laughs> 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 yeah, did you see him? The remnants? What's left of him? <laughs> no, what happened? No, he, his his uh, blood test got leaked. Someone who worked, I get, I don't know the full story, but uh, Derek. Oh! Was I don't know. I think maybe someone who worked for like the testing company or something leaked his emails oh. and they're all like his signature and it's like, thanks, Liver King. Oh. Like so and so. And it's his blood tests and like a, a, a full um, panel. panel of all the shit that he's on. And it's, apparently it's fucking crazy how, man, how much shit he's taking. Oh, Derek, break it down. Well, actually, we're going to have him. You know. Yeah, we're going to have Derek on. Maybe we talk to him about it. Yeah. Maybe he breaks it down to us directly. Yeah, when, yeah. I'm not going to say when, but let's just say it's very soon. I think it's next week that he's coming on. <laughs> yeah. This guy. Are you about to imitate him? A little bit. I do can't it. really do Derek's voice. Well. What's up, Derek? Or place more days.com. Yeah, yeah, that's good. 
Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, Liver King is on steroids. Laughing emoji. I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. Really good. <laughs> no, no, no. So, yeah, punch in here. This guy was taking $132,000 of HGH a year. A year, dude. That's ridiculous. That's enough HGH to make PFT. Oh, this oh. is Barstool. The ridiculous thing is he was taking three different HGH boosters and they still weren't raising the levels of IGF. What HGH HGH makes your liver excrete. This guy's on so many steroids, it's not even funny. This guy wasn't on like a little HGH or TRT. This guy's taking out steroids to kill you at 45. <laughs> I'm surprised this guy would lie so blatantly about the whole situation. Well, meanwhile, he's on enough juice to Chris Benoit. Wow. I don't know how this is going to affect Liver King's legacy. <laughs> I mean, did he have a legacy? The thing is, his nine ancestral tenants are pretty effective. If you lived as he said, you'll probably have a pretty... Okay. I mean, the whole thing is he's got a company, right? He's got a supplement company. Yeah. Yeah. So, wait, wait. Yeah, this this is his... This is him? Yeah, this is his steroid regimen. So he said, I've been working out for... Th he wrote this in an email? Yeah. To cause... someone, and then they leaked it. Yeah. I've been working out for 35 years. I know how to eat, train, and recover. Uh, but I, as I've reached my mid-40s, it's getting harder, and the back fat fucking sucks or something. I've recently started taking Omnitrope, blah, blah, blah. But he said, for instance, here's what I'm currently taking. One IGF, CJC, Ibutamorin, Omnitrope, Test CYP, DECA, Winstrol. That's all different shit. I know DECA. I know DECA. I know D-Ball. I know Trend. <clears throat> I take all of them. Do you? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't see it? <laughs> No. You don't see it? <laughs> no, dude. Are you sure? Are you working out? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny to take all that shit and not do anything. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of people. Is it? Yeah. They take that shit and they just... For what then? The emotional benefits? No, I think some people think they just jam it in and then they work out a little and then they... But I'm saying like, it'd be funny to just do that and then code all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd probably be able to code for days straight. <laughs> Your feel, fingers will get ripped as fuck. Yeah, it probably feel fucking good, dude. Yeah, so he's a fraud. Uh, no, -uh. who would have thought, dude? The whole time, who would have thought? Liver King. Yeah, man. He's not real. Well, I hope you save that money, pal. That's how it always goes, man. Those dudes. Da da da. Da da da. Yeah. Always. How was your no. Thanksgiving? Um, my Thanksgiving was good. It was simple. Just a few family members over. Uh, we did two. It was a it was a long weekend. Okay. We did that's a family. Awesome, we did Wait, a family. You hosted yeah, we two? hosted two. Yeah, that's that's rough. We had uh, the family one, which was great. Then we had a little friendsgiving, which was also great. And I can't complain because the friends did a lot of the cooking. Nice. So. I was just kind of around. I also was basically sick on Thanksgiving. Oh, that's a bummer. It was ass. Huh. I basically slept until dinner. Like sick? Or like sick? Like sick. Ah. Uh, yeah. That's a bummer. I thought you might have done a kickflip or something. No, nah, I was just eating shit with clogged ass nose. <laughs> that's rough. Yeah. So the Friendsgiving was dope because I actually got to enjoy it and I had energy. I was also sweating fucking bullets on the Cowboys game. Did you bet? No, dude. What? Oh, oh yeah, the... right, right. Fantasy, yeah, yeah. I fucked and... Connor. Yeah, yeah, right. I took him out. I'm, I'm three and zero. And it's me and you this week. You're toast. I know, cause I also fucking my DJ set is on Thursday. By the way, you guys are all invited. Oh, thank you. Winston House Thursday night. I'm DJing. And, and I have to think about my set. So that's what I'm going to be really worried about. So I don't have, like, I can't wake up in the morning and be like, okay, fantasy is the fucking thing today. Because nah, I can only ever, like, stress about one thing at a time. Nah, you're gone. That's what I'm saying. Don't even try it. And I'm pissed. I'm already researching. You're out. 
I got. I already got my claims in. You're toast, bro. I'm researching techno songs. Yeah. Yeah, you're toast. I know. You already got your claims in. Yep. What does that mean? That means like on Thursday morning, then the t- Wednesday. You don't Wednesday? even know the day. Ah, fuck. You don't even know the day. I'm fucked. You got no time. <laughs> this podcast review. Very. This is on our podcast. Very racist. Five out of five. Love listening to racist people. <laughs> okay. That's from last December. Sweet. They motivated me to unplug my grandmother's ventilator and set up my PC to mine crypto and watch the Perverse Family. <laughs> Damn, dude. Perverse Family was almost a year ago. Damn. That was from January. Let's watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> Who did we show that to? That was like... <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I thought we showed it to Ben and Emil. Damn, that has to be the next eight ball. Yes. They've not seen Perverse Family. Oh, my family. God. Let's do it. That's a fucking HR yeah, claim right there, that's a dude. Great idea. Luke Luke has to put on a screen protector when he runs that. <laughs> that shit is disgusting, dude. <laughs> There's got to be like a sequel by now. That was a sequel. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, a, it's a franchise. There's they a, must, you know, they, they're on season three or yeah. four or five yeah. for sure. Cool. Pull it up. Yeah. Soothing merch sounds. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah, man. All right. We got to get into the bonus. Thanks for listening, guys. We love you. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, Hasta luego. TeamGStudios.tv. Remember, merch and discount on Studios tier. This week only. This week only. And come see me on tour. All right, bye. Yeah. This week on the Bone Zone. Gosh, Mick, your cock is massive. Well, slap that dinger <laughs> on my face. So I pop into this one room, and I'm like, hey, what's up? Ow. And I'm like, ah, oh, fucking children. Kid. And I'm like, start to go, and he's like, yesterday I threw it up. <laughs> hey, shout out to Doja. She was like walking up the stairs, you know, her security guards in front of her, and I just kind of like, look. Uh, excuse me, that guy? No. Nope. Not supposed to be in the VIP? Nah. He's GA. Yeah. Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at TMGStudios.tv. <laughs>